Before I get started with this video, I want to make it very, very clear. I am not victim blaming whatsoever. I do not condone violence or domestic violence. I think anybody who puts their hands on each other should be held accountable. This video is going to hit on this really overly used phrase, choose better. A few months ago, Kiki Palmer was dragged on the internet by a bunch of men with mics because she wore a dress that was somewhat revealing, less revealing than a bathing suit or a swimsuit, but apparently because she gave birth, she's no longer allowed to dress this way. So I guess all mothers out there just know if you have children, bathing suits and swimsuits go out the window because her partner, her husband, the father of her child decided to take to the internet and and put his wife, his partner, and the mother of his child on blast for the world to see. That's some real alpha male behavior if you ask me. I've never seen so many men triggered over women that has nothing to do with them. It was revealed months later that that controlling behavior of trying to isolate your girlfriend from the world by trying to shame her for dressing the way she felt to dress was a red flag for being an abusive asshole. Now there's three sides to every story, his truth, her truth, and then the actual truth. But I saw the footage, I saw the pictures, and it looks like he put his hands on her. Not only did it look like he put her hands on her, it looked like he was dragging her, choking her out, beating her ass. Again, the mother of his children, his wife, his partner. Weirdly enough, <laughs> all the men that were caping for him stayed pretty silent about this. But the point of this video is, is that according to Kiki Palmer, this abuse started before she decided to lay down and have kids with this man. Why would you have kids with an abuser? That's a question I'm pretty sure a lot of men and women ask themselves because unfortunately it happens all the fucking time. I know it's complicated. I know there's a lot of psychology behind it. Self-loathing, self-hate, uh, tra generational trauma, past child abuse. I don't know. I know it's complicated, but still, why the fuck would you include another human being in an abusive relationship? Why didn't she choose better? This is a question that a lot of people should start asking themselves. And this is something that people should start holding other people accountable for. I've seen so many women cry on the internet about having five different baby daddies, five different deadbeat baby, baby daddies. It's like, how, how did you pick the same guy five times? Like, you have to... You have to hold yourself accountable for that. Now, I'm not saying Kiki Palmer is accountable for her abuse, but she is accountable for picking an abuser, supposedly an alleged abuser, to be her baby's father. And now for him. <clears throat> Not that I want to give him a time of day if it is true that he is an abuser. He went on the internet and espoused this stupid thing that some men like to do to hide behind their controlling behavior by saying, oh no, men just want standards. We just want traditional women and this is this woman's place and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's the same thing when people hid behind the idea of the mask that we're just trying to protect society and their excuse for being assholes is like, I'm just doing what's good for the culture or people hide behind uh, free Palestine. They'll basically just be anti-Semitic. A lot of times people will try to hide behind what looks like a good cause or a good message to just be nasty people. But let's say it's true. Let's say he wanted a traditional, submissive, agreeable, docile housewife. Then why the fuck did he pick Kiki Palmer? I'm not a super fangirl over Kiki Palmer. I do not religiously follow her career, but I've seen her around. There is nothing agreeable, soft-spoken, or docile about the girl. She's a loudmouth. She's opinionated. She's a little ghetto, a little ratchet. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I'm just saying. So why did you pick her? Also, Kiki Palmer is an actress. And even though he himself said it had nothing to do with her kind of hugging Usher, um, slow dancing with him or whatever, he said it was more about what she was wearing. But even though, if that was it, because a lot of men were saying like, how dare she? She's a fucking actor. If you think that you will be triggered by her wrapping her arms around another man, kissing another man, being romantic with another man, or even play flirting with another man for the world to see, then, then why did you marry an actor? Because I'm pretty sure that is going to be in her repertoire in the future. Again, I am not victim blaming. I am not saying she brought this on herself. I'm saying... She definitely brought it into her, the life of her child because that's who she picked to be the child's father. And if Kiki Palmer dressed in a certain way, acting a certain way was so triggering to him, 
again, why did you pick a woman that would hit all your triggers? Anyway, that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think of this topic or this conversation and the uh, comment in the comment section below, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, donate. It helps keep me on this platform and you guys have an amazing day. Bye.